first I wasn't a believer of the morning basket. I thought it really was just like a gimmick. I was just like, why are all these other homeschooling moms like putting together these homeschooling baskets? Hey you guys, I'm Brittany. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you what is in my November morning basket and some holiday books that we're gonna be reading throughout this holiday season. So if you guys are interested in seeing all the goodies that I put together in our November morning basket, then go ahead and stay tuned for today's video. So you guys, I have my morning basket <laughs> right here next to me. I have it on my little table and I'm gonna show you guys everything that is inside of my morning basket. Um, if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, I'm Brittany. I have a nine, three, and a one-year-old, and I only have one homeschooling age daughter right now who is Brielle. She is in the fourth grade. So I do have a mixture of like toddler and baby items in my morning basket along with things for my daughter Brielle too, just because I feel like I need to keep a good combination to um, keep all of my kids' interests, especially when we are doing our morning time um, at the breakfast table and everything like that so um, in this video you will see like a variation between like toddler and a little bit of upper elementary items within my morning basket so you guys I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm just gonna start grabbing things out of my morning basket and just show you everything that I have oh and another thing to you guys this is my second year of homeschooling and this is my first year actually having a morning basket at first I wasn't a believer of the morning basket I thought it really was just like a gimmick I was just like why are all these other homeschooling moms like putting together these homeschooling baskets however now that I am in my second year and I have started like the tradition of the morning basket now I see what the hype is all about and I am definitely a believer and I definitely love um, having this morning basket within our like routine and everything like that okay I'm done talking so here we go so the first thing I'm going to show you is some of the little Bible books that I have for my two daughters. I got these Bible books, you guys, from the Dollar Tree. And these are just like variations of little Bible stories that I would read to my one and three year old. I also have this 100 favorite stories from the Bible that I'm reading with my daughter Brielle. This actually went along with her master books. We did master books last year and we're adding in a little bit of master books this year. Not as much because she does prefer another English curriculum we're doing right now over master books. But I still love the Bible stories in here. So this is definitely a part of our Bible and morning time that I do with my daughter Brielle. Something else that I have is my Character Matters cards, you guys. I love these. Um, these right here are the Character Matters in the Bible. I went ahead and I bought the other two Character Matters sets. I forgot which one it is. It's either in the home and in the world. So I have all three. So right now we're just working our way through the um, the Character Matters in the Bible. And I really love my daughter memorizing the memory verses that goes along with this um, these character cards. So yeah. Something else that I have for Brielle for Bible is How God Grows a Courageous Girl. This right here is a really good, simple devotion that I love my daughter to read to me in the morning. We talk about it, we discuss it, and you guys, this devotion was only $4.99, but she is loving it, and I feel like she's taken away a lot from this uh, mini devotion. Now, along with Bible, I do have my daughter, her... Um, primary Sabbath school lesson that we read. I just print these off on gracelink.com uh, just because I don't have the actual physical copy. So I just use the uh, free version that they have online and I print off our lessons for each week and I just go ahead and I put it like in this little uh, mini pocket. So I will go ahead and read over Brielle's Sabbath school lesson each week and she definitely loves when we do that together. Another thing for Bible that we are going over this um, quarter is the Ten Commandments. So we have been reading God's Ten Promises. And this book is really, really good. It actually follows two twins. Uh, their names are Caitlin and Cameron as their parents are talking to them about God's 10 promises or the 10 commandments. And they're learning a lot of life valuable lessons. At the end of each of these little devotionals, they do have like a parent portion where we can do some arts activities. We can do like um, discussion questions. It has like a lot of things that we can do throughout the week. However, right now in the season that I am, that I am in, we don't do all like the arts and crafts and the things that is incorporated in this devotion but I do do the discussion questions with Brielle so we read this one about twice a week we read the um hundred favorite bible stories twice a week and then I read her 
her Sabbath school lesson as well. So we have like a good combination of like as far as Bible and morning devotions just because I want to mix it up. I don't want it to become too boring and I still want her to be able to learn different parts about the Bible and uh, things like that. So I hope she's enjoying like the little selection that I have as far as Bible time. Along with that, I do have the um, my toddlers. I have their Sabbath school lesson. They're in the beginner Sabbath school lesson. That's for ages one to three. And uh, right now we are actually doing, I went ahead and I skipped ahead. We are actually learning Angel Sings to the Shepherd. So right now I'm actually already going over uh, Christ's birth story with my toddlers, my one and three year old, just because when it comes to Christmas time, I do want them to have the memory verse memorized. And I do want them to know the Bible story once we get into Christmas. So when I start incorporating all of our other read alouds, it won't be just their first time actually being introduced to it they will actually um, know the story because we actually have gone over the story starting in November so yeah I went ahead and I printed off the um Bible story for them and they've really been enjoying it. If you guys are interested in seeing like how I do my morning time with my toddlers and with my nine year old, I did make a day in a life video and I'm gonna go ahead and put it up in the iCards and in my description box below. So you can kind of see like how I do Bible with all of them. It's very chaotic, but I feel like <laughs> they're still getting something and that's all that matters. Now into like the actual fall books that I have. I have a whole shelf downstairs of all of the fall books that we have been already diving into. However, these are some more like books that I want to get into deeper throughout this um, November month and this November season. So our read aloud is actually Little House on the Prairie. And you guys, um, this read aloud, I'm not gonna lie, it was very surprising to me to hear the language that um, the, the the ma and the pa refer to the indigenous people in this book and i do understand why this book that is no longer awarded like in the newberry award for this particular one in little house on the prairie just because the language of indigenous people is pretty pretty bad in this book however instead of me just tossing the book and us not reading this i feel like it's a good learning opportunity for me and for my daughter Brielle for us to uh, really talk and have deep conversations about those different things and I really still have been enjoying this series um, along with it I do have um, Squanto's journey that we're going to be reading and I do like for her to be able to get um, a variety of perspectives when it comes to indigenous uh, people and it comes to the Na Native Americans. And I really like for her to read this book still because it's given, it's um, helping her with these like critical thinking skills so she can take the information and evaluate it for herself. And I really love that. So I'm happy to be reading Little House on the Prairie still, um, Squanto's Journey, and I also have What Was the First Thanksgiving. So these are gonna be like our historical fiction and some of our historical reads we're going to be doing for the month of November and I really hope she enjoys it. We haven't really dived in deep into American history. We're going to start American history in January and I didn't want to wait to go ahead and bring about um, talking about the first Thanksgiving and things like that uh, because we haven't officially started American history. Um, I feel like this is going to be a good like um, teaser for when we started in January. We're actually going to be doing American history from the beautiful feet and I'm really excited about it. I have everything all prepared for us to get started on that in January. So yeah, these are some Thanksgiving read alouts we're gonna be re continuously reading throughout this month. Now for my toddlers, I have, we're going on a leaf hunt and my daughter, she actually is my three year old. She's actually in speech therapy and this is one of the books that we're going over in her speech therapy session. And she's actually learning a lot of prepositions through this book. And I'm so excited to continuously read this book because it's so stinking cute. Um, I love just the rhyme and the repetition in this book and my daughter Alana, who is one, she also enjoys this one as well. So this is in our morning basket for us to continuously read and for us to be prepared when we do speech on Wednesdays. Now something else for my three-year-old I do have I do have her um, speech flashcards and these ones in particular are her verb speech flashcards. I'm going to show you guys a couple of them. These pretty much just have different pictures and I'm talking about the verb phrase so I will ask Leia what is the little girl doing and my response that I'm looking for for her to say is blowing and each one of the cards are really really pretty high contrast cards and it has different sayings on the front and the back like this one is clapping so 
we go over a few of these in the morning um, just so I can even though she only does speech once a week I still want to continuously um, give her some form of at-home speech so this is another way we incorporate speech throughout our week is using these verb flashcards now something else for Leia is we are working on letter sounds and I have my little flashcards right here of my high contrast lowercase letters so I can uh, go over her letter sounds with her. She actually learned all of her letter sounds within three weeks and I'm really proud of her. So we are continuously working on our letter sounds and that is in our morning basket as well. Now of course I know this is cliche but I jumped on a bandwagon and I have I went ahead and I purchased Sing a Song of Seasons and you guys, I really don't regret this. Before I purchased it, I did check it out at my local library and once I seen the inside, I just had to have it and it's really been beautiful reading these poems. We don't get a chance to read every single poem every single day. Um, sometimes my daughter wants to cram in all of them but I just tell her, Brie, you know, that's the beauty of this book is that we can come back and read it each and every year and we will see like a different poem. So I have really been enjoying Sing a Song of Seasons in our morning basket and this is it's been really great it's been a great addition um, it is worth the hype you guys <laughs> so yeah so as far as poetry for my three-year-old I do have mother goose in here and we have been going and reading some of these nursery rhymes within mother goose and she's really been enjoying them so yeah this is a part of her like poetry or whatever my three and my one year old so we have definitely been loving uh, mother goose this was actually a gift that her speech therapist actually gave to us and uh, I really have been enjoying this one as well the last thing that is in my morning basket is for my daughters, my one and my three-year-old, and this is a Bible search and find. We actually just got finished doing Noah's Ark, and I used this uh, search and find book when we did Noah's Ark, and I was asking her, Leia, where's the elephant at? Where is the lion at? And it really just allowed us to have open conversation about Noah's Ark, and I really think that it solidified that story within her about Noah's Ark. So uh, we use this book right here. We don't pick it up as much because we have started a new story but when we do Jonah and the well next year and some other Bible stories I do have this um, search and find that I can pull back out and I have this page right here that I'm probably gonna start focusing on and I totally forgot that this page was in here and it's Jesus is born so as she gets familiar with the um, Bible story and a nativity story that we're going over in her Sabbath school lesson, I can open up this search and find book and help her find all of the items within uh, this search and find. You guys, I got this book right here from Ross for only $3.99. I'll see if I can link it down below for you guys, but it's so pretty and I love her doing these activities for the search and find. And here goes another one too. This one's Jesus is Lost. When Jesus went to the temple, and uh, here goes another one. So I guess when we get to that story within her Sabbath school lesson, we can use this book as well. So yeah, this is the last thing in my morning basket. Now you guys, I wanna go ahead and highlight some holiday books, some like winter books, because I don't wanna make a separate video showing you guys what is in my uh, winter morning basket or my December morning basket, because it's pretty much gonna be the same things, just me switching out some of the holiday books. So I wanna go ahead and show you guys some of the holiday books we're gonna be digging into, and um, I'm very excited. So I have our riddle out for the month of December is going to be the best Christmas pageant ever. And this one right here was a recommendation from Tori from the Osby Ohio. I love her book recommendations. She has never felt me just yet. Sometimes you guys, uh, you don't have an opportunity to just like read through the books and see if it's good or not. And I love watching all of like the book reviews and just knowing what books to select. So I'm very excited for us to read this book after we finish Little House on the Prairie. So this is going to be our Christmas read aloud. I also have Silent Night and I'm so excited about this book you guys. This book looks so pretty on the inside. I love the illustrations and I cannot wait to dive into this book um, when we enter our uh, winter season. I also have two other books. I showed these books in one of my book hauls but I just want to show it to you guys again which is Grace at Christmas. This book looks so amazing. Um, I love the illustrations in this book, Grace at Christmas, and I cannot wait to read this one with my girls. We actually read Boundless Grace, a part of our Africa unit study, because within that book, she actually took a trip to Africa to visit her father. So um, we are reading some more of Grace's series. You guys, hopefully I can collect all of them. This right here is actually an old library book that I was able to purchase off of Surf Books. And um, yeah, I love finding old books. This book actually came from, 
came all the way from Texas. So uh, it's really, really uh, cool to be able to have like old library books. So yeah. Another Christmas book that I have is called The All I Ever Wanted Christmas Doll. And this book right here actually was a recommendation from Amber O'Neill Johnston at the Heritage Mom blog. She actually has like a whole blog post of Christmas books that she recommends. And I went ahead and I selected this one off of her list and I'm so excited for us to read it. I have not read it yet, so I cannot tell you guys like if it's good or whatever it may be. I will come back to you guys later and let you know how it is, but I'm so excited to read this one. Now I did order three more Christmas books and I don't have them this just yet, but I do want to tell you guys the titles of them and the first Christmas book that I have, I'll go ahead and put a picture of them that I'm waiting to come and I'm so excited is um, Pick a Pine Tree is a book that I'm waiting for that I ordered. I also went ahead and I ordered Goodbye Autumn and Hello Winter because I have uh, goodbye summer hello autumn and my daughters loved it so I figured just to go ahead and continue along with that collection so I'm very excited to get that one the last book that I ordered from Amazon that is coming for my um, Christmas books or my winter books is called there's a lion in my nativity and I'm so excited to read that one it just looks so cool I believe it's from the same author that written the book the garden the cross the garden and the cross that series so I'm very excited for us to add that along to our winter collection. So you guys, this is my November morning basket and all of our holiday books we're gonna be reading throughout the course of winter. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video and just seeing everything I have in my morning basket and everything like that. You guys, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.